Now, take a look at these pictures here. On the left from Google Earth, you see the homes intact before the explosion happened. On the right from Drone Watch 3 is the rubble after the explosion. There has been nothing but rubble here. Again, littering this neighborhood. An entire block or two has been impacted by this blast. Eyewitness News reporter Marcella Baietto joining us now with the story of a family who's been impacted by this explosion. Marcella. Natasha, the Barretts have lived in this home for the past two years or so, and they are still pretty shaken up following the explosion. They told me today they never thought this would happen to them. I have no complaints. I'm alive. You know, it could have been much worse. Frank Barrett says he's lucky to be alive after waking up to a loud boom in his bed covered in insulation and drywall. When I first woke up, I was pretty much in shock, and I had it ringing in my ears. And I had the, the insulation from the ceiling. It was all in my face, in my eyes, my nose and mouth, ears, everywhere. A suspected gas explosion flattened at least two homes, damaged dozens of others, and injured five people in Port Richmond on New Year's Day. My neighbors to either side of me sustained all broken glass, but my glass didn't break except for my basement window. From the ceiling in the bedroom to broken glass in the kitchen, the impact of the blow even ripped off a piece of his roof. And that just missed my Jeep. I've taken at least four showers and I still I can still feel it. It's it's itching my skin. My skin's irritated. I have a little, you know, like discomfort in my chest from breathing it in and also from when the impact of the piece of ceiling. Barrett says the mental impact of the explosion is taking a toll on him and his family. Last night I heard fireworks, at, I'm going to say around 2 o'clock in the morning, and it got me up out of bed, and I was just, it felt like it was happening all over again. But Barrett says his ongoing flashbacks from the blast is a small price to pay in comparison to his neighbors around him. My heart goes out to these people. I feel really sorry for them, their loss. I mean, they're alive, but they're homeless now. Absolutely devastating there, but coming up tonight at 6, we hear more from the Barretts and how they're working with their landlord and contractors to rebuild and fix the damage in their house. Live in Port Richmond, Marcella Bayetto, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Natasha. All right, Marcella, thank you very much for that. Just a glimpse at one family. There are many more who are dealing with similar situations right now. Many of them we've seen actually trickling back by the neighborhood, looking at a neighborhood they no longer recognize. Stay with CBS3 for any developments in this story. The explosion in Port Richmond. I'll be back with you at 530 with an interview with two council members whose district this covers, who talked to me about the latest in this investigation. Also, the response to help people living in this neighborhood. For now, reporting live from Port Richmond, I'm Natasha Brown. Back to you. Natasha, thank you for that. We'll see you about a half hour.